Good morning, good morning. It's Bahamian Vegan. It's Marlene McKinney. And I'm so happy that you chose to join me this morning. How are you guys doing today? Let me turn down that phone because this phone will ring and ring and ring. How y'all doing today? It's Friday and I'm tired. <laughs> How are you guys doing? So we're not having porridge because I ate raw breakfast this morning and there was nothing to cook for you guys. You know, normally I have a raw breakfast. That's normal for me. Let me get rid of that music. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Good stuff. Yeah, you know, normally I have a raw breakfast. That's normally who I am. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm making it. Out. This is an order. That's the only reason I'm actually making it because I don't do sugar. <laughs> Good morning, my sister. How are you this morning? I'm so happy to see you this morning. Since the Linda is asking for a piece of coconut tart, I am making it as an order for someone. No joke. I'm not even keeping any in the house. I have two foil pans. Check them out. Two foil pans in my oven for them. <laughs> oh, but if I can pull a little bit aside and put them in a little pan, I will do that for you. Love you much. Thank you so much for sharing the live with your friends and family and your frenemies because everybody wants to know how to make Bahamian coconut tart. And we're going to do pineapple tart also. What we're going to do, we're going to get into the pot really quickly, and I'm going to show you what I have already in the pot. I haven't added anything except for the main ingredient. Um, I'm using crushed pineapple tin, and I'm using grated coconut. I'm going to open and use just a little of this more into our recipe for today. Do me a favor. Share the live. Good morning, Miss Joan. Good morning, good morning, good morning, this morning, this morning, good morning. When I went to school in Jamaica, Miss Joan, when I went to school in Jamaica, um, <laughs> my the lady washed my clothes. Her name was Miss Mary, and every time she'd come, she'd say, "Good morning, good morning, good morning, this morning, good morning, Miss Molly. How you doing this morning?" No joke. That's exactly how she would say. <laughs> and she was the sweetest little old lady, and um, she would wash all my clothes for me. In those days, it was pretty cheap. <laughs> it was pretty cheap. But thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting on our program for today. You know why? Because every time you do that, it helps the algorithm to kind of speed along. So if you can just help me out, I can't do it all. I am managing my comments, managing the cooking. Now you've got a job to do. Just share. That's easy. Put it on your status, put it on your Facebook status, your WhatsApp status, your Instagram status, your whatever. Just share, 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 share. So in my pot, come with me. Okay, I'm gonna go a little down. So we have our coconut, shredded coconut, and you can purchase that wholesale. And then you have our, we have our pineapple, crushed pineapple. I'm sorry that you're going all over the place with me and my camera. So here we go, let's go into the pot. There we go. So I have an order this morning. I'm adding a pinch of salt, just a pinch of salt. I have an order this morning for coconut tart. And I figured why not just teach you guys how to. So my breakfast this morning was raw. I had a nice raw breakfast of custard apple, banana, and an apple, and some nuts. Yum, that's what I had for breakfast. Hold on, grabbing a spoon, and I'll be with you shortly. So what I'm going to do, while I am doing the crust, and teaching you how to make the crust. So you can see that's my coconut, just shredded coconut, nothing else is in there. And this is pineapple. All right. And yep, I just cross contaminated. That's just fine. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add some more pineapple because I want to make sure we have enough pineapple for our filling. The rest of this, I'm going to make my breakfast one morning. It will be pina colada. Yum, yum. Okay, so I added a pinch of salt to each of those because we're making pineapple and coconut tart. It's the same crust. I'm adding some cinnamon. Remember, this is not for me. I'm making this for somebody. And I don't do cinnamon in the pineapple necessarily. You could add a little. But you definitely add some to the coconut, all right? In the coconut, I'm going to add some coconut milk. I just have some Ultra Real Chef, Oriental Chef coconut milk here. All right. Let's get that going. And to this, oops, I was only going to add half. <laughs> well... Needless to say, most of it just dumped itself in there. All right, so half of that goes in there. 
I'm going to grab some water and we're going to cook the coconut down. Then I'm also going to add a cup of sugar. All right. You need sugar. This is coconut tart. This is a dessert. All right. This is not Marlene's dessert. This is for my customer. I'm adding some pineapple has to get some coconut, some sugar also. Okay. Here I go. So for the coconut, first let me turn on my fan because you know, they have a war going on all the time. All right, so let's turn on the stove. Right, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Let me see. This is that one. I'm not too sure. Okay. All right, very quickly, let me just turn on the stove. I'm gonna have them both going the same time. It just kind of helps to save time, right? It saves time. All right. So in here, I have my coconut milk. Let's do one at a time so you don't get confused. In my coconut, I have coconut milk. I have coconut, of course, because it's coconut tart, right? All right, there we go. That's better. So I have my coconut. I have my coconut tart. I'm going to add about a cup of water, not more than that, just enough so it can cook down my coconut, all right? You want to cook the coconut down until the coconut is tender. I added to this sugar and a pinch of salt, and of course, I added some coconut milk, okay? I added some coconut milk. Let me rinse my spoon or grab another one. And then for my pineapple tart, for my pineapple filling, I added sugar and pine crushed pineapple. And I'm gonna let it come to a boil. I'm gonna let it come to a boil. I did add a pinch of salt also to that, okay? I added a pinch of salt. Now, if I, were make, if I were making it for me, add some more sugar to that one. I don't think I added enough sugar to that one. If I were making it for me, I probably would just use um, dates, I guess. But I'm not making it for me. This is something I'm doing for a friend. And um, I figured, why not let you guys come along on this journey? You know what I'm saying? Like, why not? Okay. So we're gonna let them both cook down, let them cook down. I'm gonna cover this one so it can come to a, a rapid boil quickly, all right? Now back to the counter where you will learn how to make the crust. All right, so in my bowl, I have five cups of white flour. Usually I buy unbleached white flour. Good morning, Miss Desri, how are you doing this morning? Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. All right. So we're making tarts. Do you guys make tarts in your country where you're from? I'm adding, this is whole wheat and white. So that's the white. I'm adding my, my white, my whole wheat, sorry. And it's usually half half, okay, half half. Let me grab another spoon. So it's usually half half. All right. One more. I think that should be really enough for those two pans. They're not that big. Right. Good stuff. I'll set that aside. And then I'm using the Rumford baking powder. This is the aluminum free baking powder. Make sure when you purchase your baking powder that it's aluminum free. Okay. Very important because aluminum will store into your system and it will definitely can lead to lots of issues later on. So for this amount of flour, this is about nine cups of flour I have started here. I may, I may end up with 10, but to this amount of flour, I normally add one tablespoon of um, baking powder to about three, two tablespoons or to three. So this is nine, so I would need at least three, okay? Three and a half will do for the 10, all right? So there we go. Then I'm going to add some salt. Gotta add salt. Can't have a bread without salt because there'll be no flavor, right? So I add about a teaspoon of salt for each five cups of flour. All right, beautiful. Then to the dough, I'm going to add about a tablespoon because this is a whole lot that we're making here. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon or so of cinnamon. All right, we need some sugar. Gotta have some sugar, sugar. Sugar, sugar, gotta have it. Then I put it, I put it away. Okay, gotta have some sugar. 
Okay, because you don't want the bread to be gone. Hi, Miss Joanne. Good morning. Watching from the Bahamas. Tell me where you're watching from this morning. So to this amount, I'm going to add two cups of flour. Okay. All right. Beautiful. That's enough flour for the dough. And then I need to grab my earth balance. I'm coming now. And I do have, I think, a little bit of a smart balance left in my container. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got everything falling from my fridge. <laughs> but, um,. This will take about 45 minutes to cook in the, in the, um, it will take about 45 minutes. So here goes. Hi, Jessica Bullet, watching from NASA. Thank you for joining. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment on our YouTube channel. Please don't forget. We love you guys. We appreciate y'all sharing, liking, commenting, subscribing, all of the above. Okay. So this is earth balance. You can do earth balance. Sorry, you can see it. Earth balance. And this comes in four, a pack of four. You can do uh, smart balance. And I have a little bit in there, so I'm going to probably use the rest of it. Okay, I'll just use the rest of that today. All right? You will use the rest of it today. Uh, meanwhile, our pineapple is boiling already, which is beautiful, just lovely. All right? It's lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, beautiful. Let me grab my, my um, spoon and start. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Please share the program, share this live with your friends and family. And if you're watching at a later date, just share it anyhow. And remember to comment on our, pro on our live programs and anything that you find on our YouTube channel, any questions you may have. So this is a lot of flour. I don't even know if I'm going to need all of this, but anyway. Child. Hey, child. Anyway. All right. Let's check our coconut. It looks good. Oh, it's looking good. Looking really good. Looking yummy. Looking yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm going to add just a little more coconut. I happen to have some here in my bin. So I'll just add a little more to that. Want to make sure we have enough coconut for our pie, our coconut tart, our coconut tart. We are making coconut tart. Okay, so what I would do, I take my butter or my earth balance, which is what I'm using this morning, or today, or tonight, whenever you watch this program. Okay, you just want to kind of cut it up in little bits all throughout because you want to rub this in right you want to rub your fat into your flour into your fat fat into your flour however you want to say that that's what you wish to do all right now i would normally add i think about a pound eight at least half a pound sorry to each five each five cups okay at least that be forever grateful morning watching from new providence Earth balance made from plants. Yes, ma'am. Or yes, sir. Whichever one. Yes, it is. It's made from plants. Earth balance made from plants. <laughs> yeah. Now, what you can do, and I'm using all of what I have left in my smart balance. What you want to do, um, forever grateful and whoever else is watching, suppose it's a little expensive or costly for you to buy these, um, these uh, various uh, plant-based um spreads what you can do you can always do a little oil in there also you can do half half okay you can do half half that's a great idea that's an idea for you all right let me turn my stoves down my stove i'm coming i'm coming our coconut looks amazing already amazing let's turn everything down turning everything down all right so this recipe is not fully uploaded yet on my website, but you do have on the website um, already Granny's Johnny Cake. And the Granny's Johnny Cake, the bread is simply this. The bread for our, our recipe this morning is simply this, okay? That's what we're using, all right? So you can go to somethingbettertoday.com 
So before I put my hands in there, let me just put the put the, the um let me put that banner up so you can find us. It's somethingbettertoday.com. Please visit often and do remember to share the um the website and our there we go. And to share with your friends and family. All right. Okay, beautiful. Thank you so much for joining. Be forever grateful. You're watching from New Providence. Miss Desi, where are you watching from? Remember to tell us. Okay, now my hands are going to get really dirty. Really, really dirty. But not dirty, but you. Know. Let's turn that down. Because now I got to rub it in. So you want to rub it in just like that. And then it's going to look like breadcrumbs. Okay. Make it look like breadcrumbs. Just like this. If you're just joining, it's Marlene. It's Bahamian Vegan. We're making coconut tart and pineapple tart. It's native to the country of Bahamas. That's where I'm from. We love these delicious desserts. I don't do sugar, but I'm making this for a friend. And normally I do a breakfast program, but I chose to do this this morning. All right, this is a lot of work. I should have had my mixer, okay? And I would forget that I normally do use my mixer for this because then my hands are really painful after. You know, it's a lot of work. And I've already exercised for the morning, right, Miss June? I didn't do my 10,000 steps and my weights, so I didn't really need no more exercise. And I have a big machine, but I gave it to my niece because <laughs> I didn't think I'd take on a big job anymore. No more big jobs for me. No, no, no. Let's see how quick we can do this. Let's see how quick, let's see if we can get it all done at by the top of the um, half an hour. We have 10 minutes, let's work fish really fast. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see what the problem was. Uh oh, sorry. Unfortunately, I had on two stoves, so thank you, Lord, for a good sense of smell. All right, all right just like that. You see it looking like bread comes to you guys? Looking like breadcrumbs any more than that? Yes, it does. Looks a little like breadcrumbs. Just keep on going just like so. There you go. There you go. So if you're just watching, we are making coconut and pineapple tart. My way. Because <laughs> they'd be like, Marlene, this is not the Bahamian way. Because normally I imagine they put eggs in there, but I don't use eggs. I don't use eggs. To make this moist and to keep it moist and to make it a soft, soft, nice, rich consistency without the cholesterol from the eggs, I am going to add coconut milk. That's my weapon of choice. <laughs> That's my weapon of choice. What's your weapon of choice? I see comments coming in. I'm going to get to them. All right, watching from Arizona. Okay. I think that's rubbed enough. <laughs> it ain't really rubbed enough, but I'm tired. Anybody come and help? All right, let's just quickly do it. I think it's good. I think it's great. Actually, I know it is. So to keep this moist, I'm going to add my coconut milk. Okay. Now remember, we already have our raising agents in there. So that's a half a tin of coconut milk. You can, but my food processor is not big enough. The question is, can you use your food processor? My food processor is not big enough for this amount, but you can definitely use the food processor, most definitely. Our coconut is ready. I'm going to turn it off. Our coconut's ready. And then I'm going to use a full tin of milk. So that's your richness. That's your moisture. All right. Let's put those comments up. Watching from Arizona. Awesomeness. You can stir a little, but you got to get your hands in there, you know? Hands, hands, and more hands. <laughs> and because I use the coconut milk, I will need very little water. Very, very little water. Okay. All right. Watching from New York. Lovely. Let's see if we can get that in there. And today is kind of like a, whenever there's midterm break in the Bahamas, it's kind of like a holiday because the traffic ain't half as heavy on the road at this hour because School is closed in for most children. Most most schools are closed today. 
So I call it like a mini holiday. <laughs> when I was a teacher, when I was a teacher, let me tell you guys, I loved holidays. As a matter of fact, I told a group I spoke to yesterday, as soon as school opened, I said, Dr. Rowe, can you please give me the calendar of holidays? That's all I want to see. <laughs> because, you know, you look forward to those breaks as a teacher, you know. So you see what I'm saying? So this is nine cups of flour. This is half whole wheat and half white. And I haven't added any water to this yet. Do you see what I'm saying about the coconut milk? And the coconut milk is what's going to give it a beautiful, moist taste. And it will stay soft throughout, okay? So see how that is? Look at that. I added a tin and a half of coconut milk. I added my fat. And I'm going to add just a tip of water. Just a pinch of water, okay? Then I'm going to grab my pans. And we get started. I see there's a comment. Send some for me. <laughs> Hi, Miss Pam. How you doing this morning? Thank you so much for joining us. Joining us from Mandeville, is it? Is it Mandeville, Miss Pam? It's Pam Morgan. That's my girl. Oh, I miss our friends so much. So then I'm only going to put a little more. Because you don't want it to be, you know, you want a really good consistency in your dough. You don't want it to be too dry. You see how that is? Look at that. You see it? That's a nice dough right there, okay? That's a nice dough. So, what I'm going to do, let me just, let me just, uh, let me just wash my hands. Hold on one second. Because what happened is my pineapple is ready for the cornstarch, and I forgot to get that together before we started on our dough. I really forgot, okay? So, let's get to that. I'm coming to you guys right now. Don't go anywhere. Remember to share the live, please, with your friends and family on your Facebook page, on your Facebook status, wherever, wherever. Just share, share, share. Because sharing is caring. Come on, let's do it. All right? Thank you so much. Because, and just because. Hey, okay? just because I've asked you. You should do it just because Marlene asked you. All right? Marlene asked me to share. I'm going to share. So thank you so much for just doing it for me. I appreciate your help. All right? Okay, coming now with the cornstarch and water. So I'm just going to use some regular cornstarch to thicken our pineapple. So give me just a minute just to take you guys over there with me so you can see it. I want you to see it. I want you to see it. I want you to see it. Let's go. Hello. All right. So we have our pineapple and our coconut. The coconut is ready. You only want it to cook down until it's nice and thick, right? <laughs> and I use the same spoon. Same spoon. No big deal. Matter of fact, here we even do things like what we call um, a mix of the two coconut pineapple tart. And that's really good too. So there we go. There we have it. So I'm going to add my cornstarch slur to that and thicken it up. All right. Oops. Awesome. Now I'm going to add a little vanilla. Ooh, that's nice. You see that? It got thick so fast. It's beautiful. So we can turn that off. All right. You see that? Doesn't it look good? That looks ready to eat just like that, to be honest. <laughs> okay, give me just a minute. I'm going to add a little vanilla to both of those. Uh, just a touch of my Bahamian, Bahamian made vanilla to both. Can't go wrong. Tastes really better, right? Good stuff. I'm going to stir it in. Awesome. So there goes our pineapple. So this is just a crushed pineapple and I added to that some sugar, although it's already sweet. But of course, it's not for me, and I want people. To, I want the people to enjoy it. So we add some sugar, and then our coconut has some. It's a shredded coconut cooked down with a little coconut milk and some water. All right. So there we go. So let's get back to our our dough. So I'm gonna grab my pans. Okay. 
I'm going to grab my pans. I have one of each. We have one of each, okay? Coming now, coming now, coming now. I don't buy spray anymore. I just use a little oil. Same thing, same difference. Or you could use parchment paper. Right? Okay, beautiful. One second. All right, we got ooh, zero minutes. <laughs> we have zero minutes. Zero minutes. Our time is gone. So I'll put one pan aside. Let's get the next one done. So let's cut it in half because you know we need half for each, right? And then we need for the top also. So I'm going to share it right down in half to make sure I have enough. All right. Let's put a little of my flour on my counter. And here's the thing. You don't have to roll this out. You're just going to press that into your pan because it's soft enough. You see why I wanted it to be soft enough? So you don't have to like roll it out with a rolling pin. You simply use your fingers and press it into the pan, pressing it right to the top, just like that. All right. Just like that. And if it's too thick in areas, then I take some out. That's simple. That's what you do. You're just pressing it in, pressing it in. Okay, press it in just like that. You grab a fork so you can have a nice finish. All right. Just press it in just like that. And I kind of press it so that I can take out the excess. You don't want it to be too thick, but you do want some bread because some people love all that flour. I like flour. I'm a flour baby. All right. <laughs> Just like that. So you don't want it to be more than half an inch to the bottom because then it's going to be way too thick. Because remember, we have a raising agent in here. We have um, baking powder in there. And what's going to happen, it's going to rise, okay? Take some out. So I will have some extra dough, and that's fine. I could just make a little, put, add a little coconut and make it a coconut um, Johnny cake kind of thing. Because it has sugar in there, I'm not going to bother with it. I really, I'm very serious about the sugar for me. Okay, just like that. Look at that. All right. Just like that. Just root. Okay. Good stuff. So we're making coconut and pineapple tart. If you're just joining us, we're just kind of surfing through to see what we're doing here on our channel this morning. Where's Miss Cherry Hassett today? Where's my girl? Okay, she may watch this later. All right, good. Just like that. All right. Beautiful. So I'm going to pour the pineapple in first. See as it's all thick and ready. Just grab the spoon. I don't want it to be too thick, so I'm making sure I take out any excess. Any excess you want to make sure I take it out. No more than a half inch in thickness, okay? You can even make it thinner than that if you wanted to, all right? So guys, make this for Saba. This is a great treat for your guests. Oh, look at that. Look at that goodness. Woo! Can you see that? Yes, you can. Oh, it smells amazing in here. That smells so good. All right. I'm going to put it all. Put it all. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's our pineapple. Sweetened pineapple crush. With some cornstarch and a touch of vanilla. That's the smell I'm in. All right. Beautiful. So I really only needed like one recipe. I made way, 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 way too much, way too much crust. But anyway, nevertheless, 
you can freeze it. You can freeze it. I'll freeze it and keep it for some guests that's supposed to come and visit one day soon. Just press it like that, get it up. And then do the same thing for the coconut. Okay? Same thing for the coconut. Okay? Same thing for the coconut. Let's see, that should be my top. Let's get it in there. Right. Same, same thing for the coconut. I realized I didn't actually spread that around, you know? I realized that. Okay. Let's press it in. Let's see how quick we can finish. Press it in. Press it, press it, press it, press it. Move this one out of the way until we get ready to do the top. Very quickly, let's just press it in. And like I said, if you can't afford to get the earth balance and the smart balance, you could just use coconut oil to make this. This is awesome with coconut oil. I've done it many times at my store when I didn't have the smart balances and what have you in place. I mean, just use what you have. Use what you have. All right. You just want a little fat. And if you don't want no fat at all, just use pure coconut milk and it will give you all the moisture that you're looking for without the added fat. Okay. That's what you can do. All right. So, of course, this one is whole wheat and white. So, it has some good amount of fiber in there. All right. Got to make sure we don't get all backed up. All right, good. I see a comment coming in. Give me a second just to get to it. Beautiful. So, let's get our coconut now. Let me put the coconut in. All right. So, we're doing pineapple and coconut and i sold a lot of this stuff at my store um something better so you can make a lot of good money from it too if you wanted to start a little side hustle or main hustle <laughs> you know it smells so good guys Ooh, we should have smell a cube and smell a facebook <laughs> smell a vision oh my goodness it smells amazing. Awesome. Okay, let me just spread it out. Just said that. I'm coming to that comment. I have it. I'm not ignoring you. I am coming right now. And just use your finger, take it all off. Awesome. Coming right back. Let's get some water in this pot. And start rolling out the top of our for our dough. Okay. Start rolling it out. Beautiful. All right, let's see. Earth balance is very expensive. Yes, it is. It's very expensive. Um, and that's why I'm suggesting that maybe you can use things like... Um... <laughs> you can use things like um, the coconut oil. You know, you can use olive oil, coconut oil, whatever oil you have. Or just put coconut milk. You don't need to use any of the balances. Okay. Beautiful. Let's just bring that up. Press it and bring it up. I love Miss Joanne's comment. Miss Joanne, you need to stay in my. Miss Joanne is a VIP, guys. Miss Joanne said, Daddy ain't bake yet and that look good. <laughs> oh, I love you. Thank you so much. Okay, beautiful. Let's see if I could turn my computer a little more. Good stuff. So I could see your comments. Beautiful. So now I can see your comments. I can see that you can see me very clearly. All right, so there we go. So I'm cutting it in half because I want to make sure I have enough for each. So it looks like I have just enough dough after all, right? So here's how I do this. Let me grab a knife. So I cut it. Because I want to make sure that I have enough for the entire thing, right? One second. So what I do, I'm going to cut them and roll them, all right? 
So let's see how much we have. We need about three going across and one, two, three, four, five going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got plenty. We've got plenty, 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 plenty. So I roll them. Roll them. Okay. That one's a little big. <laughs> Just roll them, put them aside. All right, and here's what I do. I take one. And I take that roll and I roll it just like I'm doing here. You see what I'm doing? Just, just, you can sprinkle the table with a little flour or, yeah, a little flour. <laughs> just roll it out. Roll it out. I wanted the length of my pan. So roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. So you have to come back to my Facebook page for the finished product. The pictures, I'll put them in the chat. Same chat that's going on now. So you can go to my Facebook page, it's Marlene McKinney, or something better today. And I will put these pictures of the finished product in there. So I roll and then I flatten. And then I gingerly lift, gingerly, in other words, carefully. And I just press it along there, just like that. Okay? It ain't straight, gotta get it straight, gotta be pretty. All right, there we go, let's try it again. Roll. I want you to get it, <laughs> okay? Who's making it with me? Anybody making it with me? Roll, nice and neat. Then I press. And my mother would have taught me how to do this, see? My mom would have taught me how. Do another one. And now you see why I don't take on these jobs, right? Because a lot of time, not hard, it's just time. It's time. It's time consuming. And money is time and time is money. And actually, time is worth more than money. <laughs> right? So let's do this. Let's press it. And you want to press it kind of thin like that. Right? Just like that. Beautiful. Let's go again. So I needed five. I said at least five, right? Can you see them? They don't look too bad, do you, Miss Joanne? They don't look too bad, right? <laughs> It don't look so bad, does it? Yeah, I hope it don't look too bad. All right, so there we go. Just roll, roll, roll away, roll. <laughs> All right. And if I were working here alone without you guys, I'd probably have on some music, maybe, maybe a nice inspirational sermon or something. But I'm happy to have your company this morning as I make this with you. Thank you for keeping my company. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. I can't keep saying that enough. So if you haven't done so already, subscribe, like, share, and comment on somethingbettertoday.com, um, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and did I miss any of them? No. Now we put the top. So it's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, and of course our website somethingbettertoday.com. So I just roll like so, roll like I did just now, and I do like so. All right? We eat with our eyes, so you want it to look pretty. Right? You want it to look good. Because we eat with our eyes. How many of us eat with our eyes? <laughs> How many of us eat with our eyes? Tell me. Looks yummy, I know. Thank you, Miss Joanne. Miss Joanne said, looking yummy. Miss Joanne Evans, my VIP. How do I make you a VIP on my my, my thing? Between you and Miss Joan, Miss Joan, Miss Anne, uh, Miss Joan, Miss Joanne, and Miss um uh my girl from Arizona. Uh-huh. You guys are my VIP. You're all VIPs. I just appreciate you guys so much. I really, really do. See? Oh, I forgot. I was in doing one for the long one. Does it look neat? It looks pretty neat, don't it? It's all about presentation. I'm telling you. All about the presentation. All about it. All about it. So we need about what? Three more? One, two, three, maybe. Or three. We should be have enough. See that? Then I'll take the rest and make some cookies for Zaria. <laughs> well, let's see if we have enough to make cookies for Zaria. We may have just enough to finish what we're doing here. I thank you. I want to really, I want you guys to know how much I love y'all. I appreciate you all for your support of something better today. Something better will be nowhere without you. Nowhere at all. 
we would be talking to the walls, right? We want to be talking to people. So we need two more. And we got Jesse. Look at that. Jesse now. <laughs> I love it. I just love it. Don't you just love it? I can't wait to show you guys the finished product. I can't. I wish I had a finish, but I don't. I do not have a finished product. There we go. One more row, and that is it. One more. Then I'll take a fork and finish it up. And I'll do the same thing with the pineapple. And so long as you stay, presentation is a must. <laughs> you know, right? Presentation is a must. Not even like that. There's no question about it, right? I think this one's a little fat. Just straighten it. Strengths. Let's lengthen it a bit. It's a little, little short and stubby, like Marlene. There you go. And that's it. Then I'll take my fork. I'll take my fork. And I press, I use this fork and I press it and press it. And my mom, I mean, my mother, her tarts were made to perfection. She did not play guys. She would make the most awesome guava tarts and pineapple tarts and, oh, not too much coconut tart, but she didn't like the work involved with the coconut. But her tarts were like, ooh, listen here. You could just bite your fingers. <laughs> okay, great. And then I take this, the back of my fork, sorry, just like that. And I just kind of press it down just like that. Thank you. I see the comments. My hands are busy. I'm going to put them all up. Don't go nowhere. Thank you for joining us. Remember to love, subscribe, like, share, comment. Does it look good to you guys? How look? You like it? Take a screenshot from Miss Joan. Tell me when you're done, if you're still there. Miss Joan, take a screenshot. Yum. I'm going to put it close to the camera. Just like that. Yum. I'm bringing it to you. A home near you. <laughs> All right. Good. So I'll pop this into the oven. Uh, but you know the Bahamian oven and you know the West Indian oven is filled with everything except for the things that ain't supposed to be there, right? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so my oven has pans in there. I need to take them out. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. So that's our coconut, I think. Yeah, that was our coconut. So then I do the same thing. I cut and cut and cut. And how many how many strips did we need for the other one? We needed five and three. That's eight. So that's our pineapple. All right. So we needed eight. I'm having so much fun making this with you guys. I would not have had so much fun if I were doing it by myself. And that is, I am not kidding y'all. I am not kidding you. I'll be here like, oh, <laughs> like when am I gonna finish? You know, my back would have been hurting and everything would have been hurting. Everything would have been hurting. Oh, man. Miss Joan, you can send it to the chat. Send it to the chat. Thank you. So, you know, Miss Marlene has a program, guys. It's a wellness program. It's not just about weight loss. I know I talk a lot about weight loss because that was my journey. Weight loss and diabetes. You know, I started out with diabetes and heavy 220 pounds. And... um but it's a wellness program. And I really would love to see you all join it. All right, just join the program. You will love it. Go down to Something Better Today website and you can come on for one week for free and be a part of my Something Better family and community. Press it. Let's see if I get done with this one faster. Maybe I'll cheat and just put four. <laughs> and she said, oh, Marlene, you didn't put five. Okay. And I had just enough flour for both. Can you see that? Just enough. I thought I had too much flour. Look at God. Look at God. <laughs> Press it down. Good stuff. Bring this pan closer so you can see what I'm doing. Ooh, I love the view that camera gives you just now. So this one only got three. Uh-oh. Four. Oh, that was a mistake. But I could take it over. But I, uh, it's okay. I'll just put more the other way. All right. I'll put more the other way. Right, beautiful. All right, just like that, just like that. Beautiful. And you press it. <laughs> I told him, I said, they could have hired me. Take six could have hired me. I'm, my, 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 my mouth, I make all kinds of sounds with my mouth. I don't know when I became so, I was always that animated kid. <laughs> okay, so if you're just joining us, I see a few people still joining. We are making coconut and pineapple tart. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for sending in your love and your likes. 
Please let me see those love and likes going across that screen. Come on, let me see it coming across my screen. The love. And we're just making some nice straight. Come on, let me see those loves increase. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. All right, there we go. Yes. It's a little thick. So, you know, the top will take a little longer than the bottom. Let's do that quickly. Lovely, 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 lovely. Just lovely. Just lovely. Okay, let's pull that out. Let's go again. All right. So you can always rewind this, rewind, and you can learn how to make your own tarts for the next function that you're having. Maybe a church function or maybe a cookout or maybe just regular lunch and dinner at your house. Invite me when you do, okay? I can come. If I can't get there physically, I can be there virtually. How about it? <laughs> I can, I can. Let's do it. If I can't be there physically, virtually, I can be there. All right. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to have to take that over. I don't know if I have enough to make it. Okay. I only have two more. Y'all guys, you guys have made that too thick. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. One, two. Oh, man. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. This one looks like I have not enough dough, but I'm going to make it work. You got to make it work. We have to make it work, guys. Make it work, Marlene. Oh, my goodness. I may have to take one of them up. Let me take it up. Oh, let's see. Let's see what happens. We will see what happens. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, good. All right. Just enough. Oh, I was fretting. I was sweating. <laughs> I was like, oh no. So just one more right there and that will be it. Let's take this one over just a little bit. Just a little bit, there you go. Beautiful. They're not baked yet, so I could take it off. I just don't want to. And just like that, you kept my company while I made a pan of coconut and pineapple tart. There you have it. What do I keep that for? Somebody ask me, somebody tell me. Tell me, tell me. What is Marlene doing? So then I just take that and I press it and I had just enough flour. So if you're making it, nine cups of flour will give you enough for two half oil pans. So if you're making it for whatever function, press it, press it, make it look neat. Make sure your presentation looks amazing because we eat with our eyes, right, Miss Joanne, Miss Joanne? We eat with our eyes. Yes, we do. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Let's, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm a coming, I'm a coming, I'm a coming. I'm just trying to figure out what I can do with this. Let's see if I can make a little heart. Let's see if I can do a little heart. <laughs> Let me see if I can be creative like my mother. My mother would make flowers out of this. She'd be like, girl, make some flowers. <laughs> let's see if I, oh, let's see if I, oh, hey, oh. Look at my little heart. Let's put a little heart in the middle. I heart you. <laughs> I heart you. Oh, I don't know how it's gonna look when then bake, but we can. Let's see if I get my little heart in there. I love you. I love you. I love you. Look at that little heart in the middle. <laughs> I love it. That's my heart. Okay, I can't do it too long. This one slides, Miss Joan. There we go. I can't do it anymore because what happened to pineapple slides? All right, let me take it over. Yeah, take it over some more. There goes my heart. There goes my heart beating. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Let's go again. You got it? I can't do it anymore because it's going to slide. Oh, thank you so much, guys. I love y'all. That's my heart. My heart's beating for y'all. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today. Let me clear up my oven and get those pans in there. And I really hope and pray, look at everything in the oven. Every, I hope that my friend and her family enjoys them. I didn't turn on my oven yet, but I just to turn them right now. I hope they enjoy them. And I want you guys to know how much I enjoy having you all here on this journey. Ah. 
There we go. Now it's lit. <laughs> With me. Alright. So from my home to yours. <gasps> Woo! Listen. You would hear me crying here today. Alright. I wanna put it, I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna rest it on a pan. I'm gonna get another pan and rest it on. So from my home to yours, happy day, happy evening, happy morning, whatever it is. Thank you for joining. Let me get to those comments. Let me move all this stuff away from me. There we go. And let me wipe down my counter. And I want to say thank you to each person that was here. So give me just a second just to grab my towel. Hold on. So I can get back to my computer and say thank you and officially close out the way we should. All right. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Whoa. Here we go. All right. Because I don't want to be touching my screen with all this oil on my hand, right? That ain't righteous. That ain't righteous. No, not at all. Okay, coming now. Okay, guys. So, here we go. I just want to say thank you to everybody that was here this morning. Of course, I'm looking at my computer. Let me bring it closer so that I can be looking in your face, too. All right. So thank you. If you came by, you stopped by to give us some love. Cleopatra White, Be Forever Grateful, Brother Peter Hutch, Michelle Stubbs, Joanne, Joanna, jo Joan, Forrester Stevens, Be Forever Grateful, um, Pamela Morgan, Desiree Newton, that's my next VIP, Jessica Bullard, we thank you all. Sister Linda, Christina Stubbs, we thank you for joining us this morning. I hope that you enjoyed our presentation. And as always, remember, it's Bahamian Vegan, and I need you. I can't do this without you. There's no way I could have done this program without you. So if you're interested in our program, here's how you can reach me. What time is it? Right time to look good and feel good. It's challenge time. Get on board with certified health coach Marlene McKinney. Global $40 weight loss challenge. Enjoy vegan meal plans, clean eating, routine exercise with awesome WhatsApp group support. Get excited. Don't hesitate. Register, forward email address via WhatsApp to 242-535-6293 or Marlene underscore McKinney at live.com. Don't forget to add your name as it appears on your bank card. What time is it? Life-changing time. Join the challenge. Get on board. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My hair is a mess. I just come out of exercise. <laughs> oh, don't forget to post the pics of the finished product. Oh, I, I will do that. Miss Jones, just send me a nudge. You know, it's not because I don't want to. I get busy and I forget. <laughs> I forget. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining me this morning. And as always, it's Behaving Vegan on Marley. And God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day, your night, whatever you are watching from today and remember please i need you to share 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 do it now if you haven't done so already share 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 i should see at least the amount of persons on here when i get back to my facebook i see people that share it thank you love you much until next time god bless bye, -bye.